Yeah. Well, you know, I can talk about yeah. the students and just the difference that I see in mm -hmm. them from the first time yeah. I met them mm -hmm. because I met them the first week of work. Yes. First week they came, I mm -hmm. met them. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, they were very shy mm -hmm. and respectful mm -hmm. and um, were just learning their way around. Mm -hmm. Then I met them again mm -hmm. the day before we left for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And um, everyone had already left the campus. Mm -hmm. I came back because I was picking up some information to work on for this partnership. Mm -hmm. And as I walked in, I looked up on the second level of the building and I saw these students standing up there and I said, those look like our students from Indonesia. So I came into the building and walked over mm -hmm. and asked them and they said, yes, they were. So we stood and talked for mm -hmm. a long time, and I got pictures of them. As a matter of fact, I have pictures on my phone mm -hmm. that I made with them. Mm -hmm. And I asked them about school, and asked them, oh, they were telling me about having to, they're now cooking for themselves. Mm -hmm. And so we talked about a lot of things that had to do with adjustment. But when I came here in November, I also brought a grade report. Mm -hmm. So I had had a chance to review their grades and determine how well they were performing academically. And the change in what I saw in terms of social, socialization was quite remarkable. They were very comfortable, uh, much more outgoing, and so I saw a lot of their personalities come through mm -hmm. as I talked with them. Mm -hmm. Very confident. And then I got an email. I gave them my phone number and my email address, and I said, contact me if you need anything. And so they did follow up and thank me thanked me for meeting with them and so it is just you know so enjoyable talking with them. One of the other things that I did was to find out from the professors in the classroom about them and one of our professors has said I wish all of my students were like them and even talked about how they are influencing in a positive way the behaviors of other students in the and from, from other countries, from the United States, the students, are th because these students from Indonesia, from the academy who are there, are very committed to learning. They're very conscientious. They stay after class and talk with the instructors and uh, complete their assignments on time. You know, all of those things that you expect a good student to do, they're doing those things. Mm -hmm. And so they are just very special. We wish all of our students were like No, they have not mentioned anything about having difficulties in adjusting. Mm -hmm. I do know that they live near the campus, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. it's easy for them to get there. Mm -hmm. One of the things that they wanted to make certain that there was a place for them mm -hmm. to go to practice their religion. You know? oh, okay. And so there is a mosque mm -hmm. that's very near the campus, mm -hmm. and they get there. They also are located near a place where they do their shopping mm -hmm. for groceries mm -hmm. and things of that sort. Mm -hmm. And um, when I talked with them, I wanted to know if they had some place to be while we were away for Thanksgiving. So they had been invited to the home of a friend and they were not going to be, you know, by themselves without, you know, in isolation or anything. So I just wanted to make sure that they were cared for mm -hmm. and that they knew that they could contact someone if mm -hmm. they needed anything. So they've not mentioned any difficulties at all. They did joke a little bit about learning to cook, <laughs> but uh, that, that was it, you know. I, I don't envision, I don't see that they're having any difficulties at all. But they do know Nithi very well, and now they know me and know how to contact me. So if anything comes up, we're there for them. Okay. I did ask them um, how often they were going to get home. Mm -hmm. And so they're not going to get to come home until after they have finished their education. Mm -hmm. I asked them how often they communicate with someone from mm -hmm. home. And so they talk with someone back here every week. Mm -hmm. You know, they have their phones and they have email, and so they're maintaining that contact. I certainly hope so. We are planning to have more students. And one of the other things that I would like to do, and I mentioned this to them, is that we have been here now, this is my third visit since mm -hmm. August. Mm -hmm. 
And I mentioned to them that on one of our visits back here, if it's possible, I would like for one or two of the students to come with us because I'd like them to share with the other students back here at the Sampona Academies what their experience is like in Texas and at Lone Star. Mm -hmm. So um, I certainly hope that we have hundreds of students from here that will come back to Lone Star. That's what we're planning on now. I expect that they will continue to make good grades, that they will make, you know, just top grades, that when they finish the two years with us, they will be able to transfer to a university of their choice and that they will be very successful. I also hope that once they transfer, because they are our students, that we will maintain contact with them just as someone from back here at Usby, at the Academy, Academy will maintain contact with them. We want to do that as well. And we will assist them in making that transfer from Lone Star to a university. Mm -hmm. So what we expect is that they will perform well academically, they will complete their educational program, they will get into the major of their choosing, they will get into the university of their choosing, and that they will be successful. Well, you know, the opportunity that is available to us now mm -hmm. is to provide that access to more students here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we know that those students are going to be successful. There will be opportunities for them to transfer mm -hmm. to the United States if they want to or to transfer here. But they will receive a top quality, affordable, accessible education. Mm -hmm.